Hello my dear friends, welcome to Learner's Planet. In today's session we are discussing about hurricane. So we know that what is meant by hurricane and how the names are given. So now we will discuss about another topic of this important let uh, this important session that is hurricane. Now my dear friends, every hurricane season some areas of coastline around the world are threatened. To get some sense of the proportion of the damage caused by these storms, here we'll have a look back at the most destructive, deadliest, largest and the most threatening hurricanes of all time. So, if you are interested in more natural disasters, you can see our more sessions. But first, let us discuss about first worst hurricanes in history. So the first one which we are going to discuss here is about Bola Cyclone. Now Bola Cyclone occurred in 1970. Now taking the cake of the deadliest for the deadliest tropical cyclone ever recorded, the 1970 Bola Cyclone hit East Pakistan. Where did it hit? East Pakistan and India's West Bengal on November 12, 1970. Now while the exact death toll is unknown, it is estimated that 3 lakhs to 5 lakhs people perished in the aftermath of the storm, making it one of the deadliest natural disasters in the recent history. So this cyclone was not extremely large, reaching strengths equivalent to some category which is given in the information of the World Meteorological Department. The killing power of this storm was almost completely attributed to the cyclone surge which flooded most of the low-lying islands in the Gang Ganges Delta, literally wiping villages and crops off the face of the earth. So this was about the Pula cyclone. The second worst hurricane in history is Typhoon Nina which happened in 1975. Now not to be known as some regular typhoon, Super Typhoon Nina came onto the scene with a bang hitting China. So this happened in China. So my dear friends, the Super Typhoon Nina came into the scene with a bang hitting China hard and quickly destroying the Bangkayo Dam. And the collapse of the Bangkayo Dam led to such great flooding that it set off a series of dam collapses throughout China. So with a 1 lakh plus death toll, Super Typhoon Nina is the second deadliest typhoon in recorded history. The third one is about Hurricane Kenna. Now Kenna was the third most intense Pacific hurricane to ever strike Mexico's west coast. And that too in 2002. Where it striked? Mexico's west coast. So this was the hurricane which striked Mexico's west coast, hitting sand blasts Nairith on October 25th, 2002, it was the third deadliest or the worst hurricane of the hurricane season. With 140 miles per hour winds and 16 foot surge devastated the coastline causing 101 million dollars in damage. Now the next one is the Hurricane Pauline. Not happy to just be one of the most destructive Pacific hurricanes to make landfall in Mexico, Hurricane Pauline had to be one of the deadliest too. Now working its way up the Mexican coastline, Pauline dumped torrential rainfalls with 16 of rain 
inches of rain in Acapulco alone. So, beyond all the lives destroyed, Hurricane Pauline was one of the deadliest one which caused a massive amount of damage exceeding 7.5 billion dollars. So this was also the one which affected the Mexico West Coast. Again, the next hurricane was the Iniki. When people think of Hawaii, they often imagine lazy days of surfing and long lures that go into the night. But the last thing most people think of is the hurricanes yet in September of 1992. That's just what they got. Born from the strong El Nino warm phase of 91 to 94, hurricane Iniki reached the level, the highest level of the blowing or the flowing of winds as the eye passed over the island of Kuai. So not surprisingly, the Hawaiians handled the effects of Hurricane Iniki amazingly well. So this was the one which was affected in Hawaii. This happened in Hawaii, affected the Hawaiians people. Now amazingly, there were only six deaths attributed to the Hurricane Iniki, although the islanders were given less than 24 hours notice and the monetary damage however was huge for the small island totaling over 1.8 billion dollars how frightening and how surprising it is now there were and there were others too like the Galveston hurricane of 1900 so this was the one which was happened in 1900 at the place called Galveston, Texas. That is why it is named as Galveston Hurricane. Now on September 4th, a warning was released saying a large tropical storm has just passed Cuba and was headed west across the Gulf of Mexico. So even though the U.S. Weather Bureau had warning that a large storm was in its way, their policy at the time was to avoid pesky words like hurricane or tornado to avoid giving people a chance to escape. But in this case, panic is really what the people of Galveston should have done as there was a big storm on its way and they were crossly unprepared. So there were in total over 3,600 houses which were destroyed and other losses were also too. The next one is about the Hurricane Ike. Now here Hurricane Ike is in the top three for the most destructive hurricanes to ever hit with 24 billion dollars in the United States with additional damage of 7.3 billion dollars in Cuba. So it basically hit the U.S. And Hurricane Ike result, it resulted into at least 195 deaths all the way from Haiti to Galveston and many places in between. The next one is about the Great Hurricane, the Great Hurricane of 1780. Now here, holding the record as the deadliest Atlantic hurricane, the storm devastated Puerto Rico, Dominican, Domin no, sorry, Dominican Republic, even Bermuda, and possibly Florida and other states. While the total damages are unknown, the death toll was well over 20,000, 22,000 people. The next is about Hurricane Andrew. Now, Hurricane Andrew happened in 1992. And it was the only named hurricane for the 1992 season. But the boy did it make its mark. So it was the one of the deadliest hurricane. Next is the Hurricane Katrina. Still fresh in the memories of Americans. This was happened in America. That is USA. And that too. In the recent years only, Hurricane Katrina was the costliest hurricane in the U.S. history as well as one of the five most deadliest ever recorded. So by far the largest natural disaster to ever hit the U.S. 
Hurricane Katrina as $80 billion and other losses too. So this was one of the disaster that made the people stand and the government agency stand and the remnants of Hurricane Katrina are still evident in New Orleans even as efforts to rebuild the city are still underway. So this was all about the list of the worst hurricanes in the world.